At this point, we're going to build the slide box, um, and that's all on the uh, the one thirty second inch plywood. Um, before you pop the parts out, um, it's a little easier to sand them. You just want to make that surface smooth, just like we did with the uh, the boom, where we sanded that smooth. Just makes everything slide a little nicer. And uh, then they'll pop right out. Um, don't throw away the uh, excess material because we need to cut a couple little squares out of it yet. Um, when I designed this, um, I needed some extra squares and I forgot to put them in, but um, for the later people that get the kit later on down the road after we use up our initial inventory, um, I'll actually laser cut those into this wood. Um, so if you see extra squares on there, that's good. Um, if you don't, um, just save the wood. Uh, we're going to cut some pieces out of it. Um, and you'll notice that they also have little little tabs in them um, and you can pop those out. They come out really nice and easy. Um, the little slots here, sometimes it helps to use a knife to push those through. So those little pieces I won't need. These are the ones that I do need. And you'll see that they're uh, labeled. There's two sides and they say front and then there's a bottom and then there's a top. Now the top, it doesn't matter which way, the, the uh, this way or that way. It doesn't matter which way is the front. It's, it's, it's um, asymmetrical. Um, so now I'm going to cover my work table with piece of plastic because this is where we're going to use the super glue and I forgot my uh, safety glasses uh, whenever we use super glue we need to be using safety glasses so I'm going to pause here and go get my safety glasses and I'll be right back <laughs> okay I got my safety glasses um, before we start gluing these up uh, we're going to assemble them um, now what I would suggest is um, keep the lettering on the outside or on the inside. Um, it doesn't matter which, but all the pieces have to be the same way. So if your lettering is on the outside, keep them on the outside. Um, so on these, so this one says side and front is this way. So then you'll see the tabs along the top and these will slide into those little tabs. Make sure the tabs come all the way through um, and if any tab sticks out leave it don't sand it off um, that actually helps to glue the wing on um, so that was one side and then we'll do the other side and again the lettering was out on that side so I need to have the lettering out on this side Gonna bevel those the tab edges just slightly just to get them started. Okay, got my two sides on, and then the bottom. Now this, this time you do have to be aware which is the front. 
So the front will go right in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to see this little hook right here. That's for the rubber band. Um, I want to get the uh, part between that. Kind of go sideways. Kind of wiggle it back and forth till you get it started. There's enough flex in the wood where you can slide it down. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, you see that? And it's all aligned now. And this is where we're going to use this super glue. So we'll put the safety glasses on. And have a paper towel handy because we're going to put the glue on and we're going to take it off. And I have a little wick on the tip so that I can uh, precisely locate it. And I will just drop a little drop on each of those tabs and it will wick along the wood. And then I want to wipe it off. Okay, so the top is on. Now on the bottom, the tabs that stick through, those are the ones we're going to start with first. So I started down the front there. Then those little rubber band hooks right there. We're going to put glue on the side of those. Take it off. And towards the back, there's two places there. Okay, so now I've done the top and the bottom. Now we're going to do the sides. And on the, the top side, you just go zoom. Just go down and then wipe it off. And if you stick a little bit, that's fine. Just pry your finger up. I've glued my fingers to wood so many times. I like using the thin because it um, it kicks off pretty fast. Okay, I've done the the top, and now we're going to do the tabs on the side. So here's a tab here, there, there, there. And flip it over. There, 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 and there. Okay. Now if you have um, some accelerator and if you are in a hurry, you can spray that. Doesn't want to come out, of course. I, uh, I use the uh, this little straw to, as an applicator. Usually when you spray, you use way too much. So using that as the applicator works just fine. And wipe everything down. Again, you don't, uh, don't sand the top. Um, if you want to sand the sides, you can sand the sides and you can sand the bottom. Um, it doesn't doesn't really do anything, uh, but it makes a prettier looking rocket. Just be careful of that little rubber band hook there. You don't sand off that. And this little tab on the back, I'm done with the plastic now, is for the string. That's where the string is going to be tied. And if everything works right, we're going to take our the boom and the, the part that says front on the sides that has to go on first and the little hook is going to be towards the bottom and it should slide nicely along the boom and if you get it upside down 
you'll notice that it, it wants to bind right here at the front. That means you flip it over and then slide it on. So now our boom is made. Uh, and then our next video, we'll start go ahead and gluing up the tail and maybe even putting the wing on.